my mind was like, get off Facebook for a week. And anyone who has Facebook knows what I'm talking about. You can always go on Facebook to feel lack so that you feel back at home. Right? Oh, there was a party I didn't even know about? Like, like, why are those two Facebook friends? I didn't know. And you feel lack. And then you actually feel bad, but you've trained yourself that feeling bad is the place you're used to living, so we stay there. So we actually try to stay feeling like crap. So you ignore the calling all day. There's always, I always talk about this, but there's two voices in us. There's a first voice that says, says, what if we did this? And it feels good. You know the voice is the voice when it doesn't have any reason why and it can't tell you anything past the first move. So the first voice goes, let's leave this company. That's all it can say. Let's ask that person out. Whatever it is, that's what the voice says. It's just a feeling. That feeling we have 24 hours a day and we never listen to. Because your mind comes in and goes, well, I want to see the entire thing. But that feeling is a preview. It can't tell you why because you've never done it, right? That feeling is a feeling. It cannot tell you why because you've never, ever done the thing. So we ignore it usually because we've created the thing that we actually pay attention to, which is the collection of thoughts that you learn from society that tell you why you shouldn't. And it comes up with the stupidest reason why. Anyone who's ever been in a relationship way too long because eventually you guys might go camping knows what I'm talking about. (laughs) Well, I want to break up with him, but like in three months we're supposed to go camping and I don't want to screw that up. So I'm going to stay hating this person for three more months and then camp with the person I hate. Your mind comes up with the stupidest reason why. We should leave this company. Yeah, but if we do, we can't go to the Cheesecake Factory party next Thursday. And the first voice is like, if you'd learn to listen to me, you'll own all the Cheesecake Factories in two months and you could make them all vegan if you wanted. But I can't tell you that. The voice is like, I can't tell you that. You know why? Because then you wouldn't be moving from faith, would you? You'd be moving from certainty. You'd be moving from protection. Will I have security if I leave this job? Because you're under the illusion that your security is outside of you? That is a lie we're in. You never have security outside of you. A lot of times what we do is we go, what if I did this? And it'll be this amazing cutting edge idea that could totally impact the world and could be worth a lot of money and could help a lot of people. But you go, yeah, but I wouldn't do that. So you sabotage it. In my creative times as a stand-up comic of 25 years, there is a creative us that has been stifled, that has been scared, that has been doing everything it can to just stop itself from thriving. And that you're this infinite creative being. And the only thing stopping us is our mind goes, yeah, but I'm not like that. We are trained that we get love for being depressed. When you're sad, a lot of people are there for you. So your mind is going to do everything it can to sabotage you from being what you actually are. Do you understand what I'm saying? The biggest vision board you can make for yourself is nothing compared to what can happen when you let go.